If you have a Mac that gets stuck on boot up or boots to a black screen even after reinstalling OS X, but works fine in recovery mode, you might have an issue with your graphics card. In this situation, disabling your graphics card driver might get your computer to a stable state where it can boot properly. Hey guys, it's Adriel from the Access Project, and today we will be showing you how to disable your graphics card driver. First off, boot into recovery mode. To do so, hold down the Option key on your keyboard while booting up your computer. A screen with two or more different drives should pop up on your screen. Click the drive with the name Recovery and click the arrow beside it. Once entered into Recovery mode, click Utilities on the menu bar and hit Terminal. Once Terminal opens, type CSRUTIL space Disable and hit Enter. You should see a success message on the screen. Now you can close Terminal and click the Apple icon and click Shut Down. Note, you don't need to do any of the steps if you are using an older version of Mac OS X. Yosemite and below do not require the step, but El Capitan 10.11 and up do. Now hold down Command and S when you start up your Mac. You can release the keys once a black screen with lots of words appear. Don't worry, things will be fine as long as you follow what I say. Firstly, we need to mount your hard drive so we can write to it. Type in slash sbin slash fsck space dash fw. Uh, hit enter and after whatever is finished and you are back to a local host colon slash root pound symbol. Type in slash sbin slash mount space dash uw space slash. The commands to mount your hard drive is actually referenced in the bash. So you can actually type that in and use that as a reference. Now we are going to create a folder where we will move the drivers we want to disable to. Type mkdir space slash disable sys to make a folder called disabled sys in the root directory of the drive. Now type cd to change the directory of folder being viewed. Space slash system slash library slash extensions. Capitalization matters. This is where all the drivers and other system services are stored. And also, this is the part where you need to do some research. You need to know what graphics card vendor your computer uses. You can find this information about your Mac uh, by simply searching the internet for your computer's model number, or you can boot up in save mode by holding down shift while turning on your computer, and hopefully get into about my Mac. You either have an Intel, AMD, ATI, or NVIDIA graphics card. In my case, this computer is using an ATI card, so I'm going to be moving all the ATI drivers to my disabled sys folder. Now to be clear, I actually don't need to move everything. Uh, if I know the specific model number of my graphics card, I can just remove that. But it's easier to move all, and if anything does go wrong, I can quickly go into system user mode and move it back as we are moving it to a different folder and not deleting it. So in my case, I'm going to type MV space ATI star space slash disabled sys and hit enter. This command will move all the ATI drivers to disabled sys. If you're using an Intel graphics card instead of an ATI, instead of ATI star, type Apple Intel HD star. If you're using an NVIDIA card instead of ATI star, type GeForce star. Click enter and then do it again, but instead of GeForce, type in NVDA star. For AMD card users, type in AMD star. Also, do note there's a difference between AMD and ATI cards when it comes to driver names. If you don't know if your card is made by AMD or ATI, you can actually just move both AMD and ATI drivers to the disabled sys folder. Now to finish the process, type touch space slash system slash library slash extensions and then hit enter. Then type shutdown space dash r space now and click enter to restart your computer. Your computer might restart automatically twice, but it should now boot into the login screen and you should be able to use your Mac. Do note that using a Mac without graphics acceleration is not a great experience as many apps will perform slowly or just plain refuse to work. But it should be enough to finish up that essay and back up your files. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something and I'll see you guys another time. Take care. Bye bye.